try to do a quick, rather rushed fingering demo for Mahavia's boozy, perfected cylinder ball high pitch flute that I've just renovated. Um, and I have done some work on the fingering. I couldn't find an actual dedicated fingering chart, at least not yet. Um, but between various stuff I know and using things from other sources on what's likely to work on a, a cylinder ball, partially covered simple system flute of the later 19th century. <laughs> I think I've just about worked out a full three octave chromatic scale. So I'm going to try to demonstrate it. There are alternative fingerings. I'm not going to demonstrate all the alternatives. But... <laughs> Naturally, you've got at the top first octave, you've got several choices. You can use the, the normal A key flute one, F1, long C key. You've also got the Pratt and Thumb key, which is a, obviously operates the same actual key cup and turn hole as the long C. So you've got that choice. You've also got, because of the real mechanism, you can get a, quite a good C natural with just left middle finger and you can play the harmonic of low C as well with the thumb key vented. So if I do kind of the ordinary one, the thumb version you can also do the, the normal eight key one with the, the right three fingers on that's a bit more veiled and then the harmonic which is usually a nice note So that's low C with the thumb key vented. Compares quite nicely with the that one. Um, so that's uh, C sharp. All fingers off. You can vent it with the C key, makes it a bit stronger, a bit higher. Either C key. You can also play it um, as the. Um, sort of like the Baroque fingering but with the thumb key open so that, that's right one two three E flat key nothing on the left hand except the thumb or you can again play the harmonic of low C sharp with the thumb key vented um, okay so C sharp D Sharp E flat, a bit of a toss up whether you want left one on or not. Probably not. E, maybe a bit sharp. Debatable whether you want the E flat key open for that or not. There's a pitch difference, which is right in context, you have to choose. on F sharp, venting an F key doesn't make much difference. In the second octave it does. I think it's probably better in tune without it. Um, this is a stronger note with it. G's normal. G sharp normal. A, straightforward. As is B flat. Oh, I forgot to mention, in the bottom octave, you can get, you can get a very good B-flat with, with a forked left hand. Uh, it doesn't work in the second register. This is horrible. Um, but it 
does work if you invent the G-sharp key. So it's bang on in tune, not quite as nice a uh, tone as the um, standard E-flat thing going B. Straightforward. Uh, C at the beginning, of, at the top of the second octave. What are we doing? So again, either way of operating that hole to vent it. E flat key makes absolutely no difference to that. Um, again, you can double overblow the harmonic of the fundamental with the thumb key vented. A little bit sharper than the standard fingering. Um, the normal harmonic of normal eight key harmonic of F works just fine. So it's forked left hand, right one two, and F key. E flat key doesn't make much difference actually. Okay, and also um, that works. Left three one two three E flat. It's a little bit veiled, but it could be useful in some passage work, possibly. Okay, C sharp. So again, all things off and one or other way of venting the C key is your primary fingering. The Normal eight key one of left two three right one E flat key works quite well. Again, the double overblown harmonic um, of the fundamental fingering, but venting left one and venting the thumb key as well makes a subtle difference. Good notes. It's as it's as good as the all fingers off and thumb and key vent. Um, also, again, zero o o o x x x e flat key and the thumb key is another good one. Um, right, so that's C sharp, yeah, D, high D normal. Choice either all fingers on and the two left thing, uh, the two little finger keys, or you can play that one, it's not as good tone quality. That's left two, three G sharp key. Um, e that's probably the best one. Right one, two, left two, three, and the G sharp key and the E flat key. Um, it works without the G-sharp key. You can hear some difference though. Just brings the pitch up nicely, makes it clearer. Or right, one, uh, left one, two, right one, two works. But it is a bit sharp. Um, yeah, that. Okay, E, um, F. So it's left one two, right one two, F key, E flat key. That with the B flat key works. That's left one two, right one two, B flat key, E flat key. It's a bit sharp, but it's, it's usable. Um, as is left one two, B flat key, G sharp key. Nothing with the right hand, no E flat key. Um, and adding right one, two, and possibly the E flat key makes it even stronger. Um, actually, a good sounding thing, that, but a bit of an awkward one. Might be useful in some places. F sharp. So, left hand XOX. Right hand XXX, B flat key, that's your primary fingering, and the best one. Um, 
without the thumb key and left three words. The normal eight key one, which is XXX, XOX with the thumb key, does work, but it's not very good. Um, yeah, there, there are some other alternatives, but those are the main ones. Uh, high G. Either XOX, right three, E flat key, or just XOX and nothing in the right hand. Not much to choose between them. Um, G sharp can be just left three and nothing else, or left three, right three, and the E flat key. No, that doesn't work. So, choice of G sharps, A flats. A, high A. So that's left two three right one two and the F key or adding right if you use the long F and add right three that's quite good or the normal eight key one of left two three G sharp key right one two no E flat works as does And you can leave the G sharp key out of it as well, slightly differently in quality and pitch, but not much to choose between those two then. Um, I B flat, A sharp. Primary fingering is left one two B flat thumb right one no E flat key, but you can close the foot keys and leave the thumb key out as an alternative. Not necessarily a good one. And high B. You can just overblow the fundamental, but it's a bit sharp. Needs the E-flat key if you're going to do that. Adding left three probably improves it a bit. Adding left three and the thumb key is really pretty good. The thumb B-flat key. With the E-flat key. Needs the E-flat key. Alternatively, still XOX in the left hand. And... Just the middle finger in the right hand, with or without the E-flat key, is another one that works. <laughs> Left one, right three, the E-flat key works. Left one, right one and three, and the low C-sharp key also works. So a whole load of choices for high B. Um, and top C. Uh, it helps if you use the right, right thumb key. I'm not used to this C thumb key. So that is left one, thumb C key, left three, G sharp key, right two, no E flat key. That seems to be the, the best top C. Uh, you can just do left one and the thumb key, uh, thumb C key. The E flat key makes a little bit of difference to it, doesn't stop it. So, but the first one I said. Uh, XOX with thumb C, G sharp, and OXO in the right hand. That's definitely better. So, full chromatic scale. Uh, just see if I can play one all the way up.
Oops, on the keys again. So there you are, full three octave chromatic scale. It would take a bit of work to get fluent in them all, but the, the lower two octaves are basically in the normal eight key set up with, with a few extra options.